Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron, which means watch and learn. And today I'm going to share with you a bunch of questions that I have seen in last couple of weeks. People are asking in the field of speech as well as in NLP. So I'll be sharing with you two questions today so that it gives you some idea that what actually are the type of question being asked in a company. Okay, so the first one is a speech related question. And I'll narrate a sentence uh, in front of you and uh, as a human you can pretty well say what did I try to say. Uh, I will also write that sentence here so just to be clear. Okay. Uh, but say for example you are working on a, a designing a you know deep learning solution for a speech recognition system. Okay. And say you hear this sentence and it says uh, apple and peach uh, make a very good smoothie. Okay, what did I try to say here? So if I write it, actually the correct sentence, I would say apple and peach make a great smoothie. So as a human, I believe you did not face any challenge putting apple and peach together, right? So this is a sentence, say for example, I'll just uh, say it is sentence one, right? But a microphone and a, and a bunch of software quite likely could have heard it something like this apple and speech make a great smoothie right quite possible correct now the challenge is because of some noise and because of some maybe other filters or whatsoever the speech or even probably the accent of the speaker probably might have confused between peach and speech, right? Which of course they both mean totally different thing. But for human brain, we typically know that, you know, when these two things probably are more likely to appear together when we are talking about smoothie, right? And this is quite unlikely. So if I have to say, what is the probability of you know this one then it will be probably say very high probability right say 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 10 something among many other things right and what is the probability of the sentence 2 then you can say that it is something like very very low probability in all the speech that we have collected in our uh, you know for doing our deep learning networks so when I'm talking about probability I'm talking about all the training data set that we have given this is a probability that we might speak as one and we might not speak as two right so now comes the question in interview what are the techniques are you going to use in order to make sure or do this kind of analysis so you might want to read more about recurrent neural network because uh, in a recurrent neural network you implement something called as memory whereas in plain neural networks you are only uh, you don't have anything called as memory right and here why memory is required because you want to uh, take into account not only the words those were spoken ahead of this but you also want to make sure you're taking into consideration words which are spoken after it right and this is where you would be requiring to use rnns and I'll just move the camera a little bit. So you need to be very familiar with the concepts of RNN, uh, bidirectional RNN, gated recurring networks, uh, LSTM, long short term memory, and how back propagation works in all these uh, methods. All right. So this is the first question that I saw many people are asking quite frequently when they are talking about uh, speech recognition systems. And I believe once you master these techniques, uh, you'll be pretty well be, and be very confident to answer these kind of questions. All right. I will also put a, a link in the description section that where you can learn uh, these tools and these techniques very nicely so that, you know, within a short time, you'll be able to, you know, even do build such a kind of deep neural networks on your own. All right, let's move to the next question. 
Okay, so another question that I have seen, uh, you know, pops up every now and then is something related to natural language processing again. And what I have seen is, for example, uh, you are trying to check uh, the grammar uh, of a sentence or something, right? For example, uh, say I am talking about our mirror neuron channel, so I would say mirror neuron. Uh, excuse me so say for example I want to say mirror neuron and then say there are a lot many words in between and uh, is a data science channel right now there are two challenges uh, when we use um, you know RNN the plain simple RNN in this case one is here mirror neuron is a singular value right it is not a plural and after a lot many number of description i might have this is which should have been connected to this name here mirror neuron right now for example um if i say and i have another sentence so say this is text one and now i have text two which is say i'm saying apple orange then peach da, 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 are fruits so now you can see that collectively i might take all of them together or i might even say apples right da, 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 are a great source of vitamin and this is a plural this term is a plural now if you see in plain RNN, right, it always looks back the words to predict the future or process the future input. But in this case, I need to make sure that I am also taking into account words which are coming later on, right? Because I need to keep in memory whether this is a singular uh, term or is it a plural term. I need to keep this in memory, and that's when you know we come across with. Uh, concepts such as GRU as I previously mentioned LSTM and also bidirectional RNN all right so I hope this gives you a clear idea that what kind of questions can be asked and how you should prepare to answer this kind of questions all right so all the best for your preparation and I'll talk to you again later